What's up guys? Welcome to another video. If you watched my last video, I did AC compressor repair on my car. I figured in this one I'd do something different. I think I'm going to disassemble this and show you what the inside of a compressor looks like if you've never seen one. Um, I've taken apart a few in the past and most of the ones I've taken apart will have like seven or nine cylinders. It's kind of like a, an engine where kind of similar to an engine but it has little pistons and the pistons compress up and down so let's take it apart and I'll show you what it looks like um, if you didn't watch the last video you should go check it out I repair the pulley on my Jetta but I'm trying something new this week I'm gonna see if I can upload a video every single day this week and it's gonna be difficult but I'm gonna try to do it so make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel for any future videos all right so we got our compressor here i've already disassembled a lot of this i took the pulley off and stuff and used it on my new car so we got to pull out these eight millimeter bolts on the crop the front and it kind of sandwiches the whole thing together i also need to get a little pan to set this in because i don't want to get fluid everywhere so let me get a pan we get our sensor Sorry if the pan's kind of noisy, it's probably going to reverberate some sound and make this a little more of a pain in the butt, but let's, uh, let's get to this assembly. I already know a bunch of oil is going to come out when I take this out, that's why I got the pan. Looks like the pistons are attached to this front half, which you can see here. So these are your pistons, like I said. It looks like it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes. So seven cylinders. Then you have a little. So it uses like almost kind of like reeds, the like little tiny metal sleeves inside of there that allow the uh, the compressed air to move compressed gas it would be because it would have a bunch of gas but you can see how the, pi the pistons have kind of wear on the end of them and for real like for the most part this looks really good actually but the shape of this so it should allow when these are spun it should kind of well I guess the cylinder rides on like it's hard to explain but the wheel is a weird shape so this wheel this wheel actually is, let me push this out. Aha, that makes sense. So, give you an idea what's going on here. It has this pivot wheel, and what happens is the spring, I can, all, I can slide all these out now. Cool, let's get all those out. So these are your pistons, they're super light, but uh, this wheel would pivot, see? So the wheel pivots, and when it's in there spinning, one side will pivot in to, re to release the compression while the other sides are compressing. So that's how, well, I guess, I don't really know if it's releasing the compression, but it's building more compression. But yeah, that's a pretty cool, unique design. That's interesting. Um, everything on this looks pretty good. It doesn't look like it's had any failure or any point. The inside of this looks really nice and clean. So probably what happened was I just had the sensor fail, the solenoid. It was probably all that failed, so I took this apart for no reason, but we get to kind of see how it works. Um, it is very interesting how these pistons ride in there. There's like little tiny wheels. These little, these little tiny half circles are just kind of sits in there. It's not even, 
not even like magnetic or anything. It just kind of sits in the holes. So then you have the the piston, which is completely hollow. It just looks like it's all made out of aluminum. Yeah, pretty simple design. And then you get this half, which I think I can pull this apart. There we go. So these are your cylinders. And then on this half is where I guess we would pull this bolt out and then we can see these are just like the individual little valves. Interesting. Interesting little design. It's actually a lot more simple than I thought it was. Um, but yeah, looks like it's all like serviceable stuff too. That's kind of cool. I'm curious to see if I can put this back together. Let's, let's try. I'm gonna start with this. This guy here first. We got our little roller bearing. Sits in the middle there. And then we're gonna have this guy goes through here. And then we'll have our individual cylinders. That's actually kind of tricky how to get those in there. This is way more difficult than it appears to be. But you have to like get these little semicircles in there. And then you gotta get the one on the top in there and somehow get it to stay equally apart while keeping it equally apart you gotta then force it onto I'm gonna call the crankshaft I guess all right well take that as a lesson for me don't take this apart because you'll never get it back together the tolerances on this are so perfect that it's like almost physically impossible without some kind of special tool to get this up back in there like it physically won't go back in well if you ever wonder what the inside of an ac compressor looks like here you go um this is a video on how to disassemble your ac compressor and not a video on how to reassemble it i think that's going to be it make sure you hit the like button make sure you hit the subscribe button thank you for watching and um Stay tuned for this week because I'm doing as many videos as I possibly can this week. So I'm going to try to do a video every single day just to see if I can get it done.